Hello there and welcome to Sister Sister. Another exciting edition is coming your way on your favorite TV and of course radio station. City TV and 97.3 City FM. My name is Jessica and tonight I bring you one of the hottest all women relationship shows in Ghana. Of course remember you can uh, follow the conversation off the show and onto social media by um, you know being a part of our Facebook page. Just search for Sister Sister Live on Facebook and uh, you know add us up we should be good to go um, let's have some interactions some live interactions right there on that platform now in a couple of seconds we get to meet our sisters but first this <laughs> At 8 p.m., City Newsroom brings you analysis of the major news stories of the day. In-depth, comprehensive, and researched, it's one hour of local and international news from 8 to 9 p.m. It's the City Newsroom, weekdays on City TV. So let's delve right into action. Now, remember, there are various ways that you can interact with us on the show. Essentially, we talk about your relationship problems. Yeah, everything that's going on, the good, the bad, the ugly. Right. So you can, uh, you know, send them ahead of time to 054-998-6996. That's our WhatsApp number. Or send a quick email to jessica at cityfmonline.com. Right. So let's say hello to our sisters. And today there's been a little switch in the studio. Rosita sitting closest to me. Rosie, good to see you. I stole her seat. I stole her seat. I'm excited. <laughs> why is that? Why? I don't know. Why, why I, do just, you... I just, I just feel like stealing her seat. Yeah. And I got here like two seconds earlier and just yeah. sat in a chair. Good. And she couldn't move me. That's all. I love you, Tina. I love you too. Oh. No, she doesn't actually. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take that for, for, for the sake of the live cameras. Yes. Olivia is comfortably seated. She cannot be bothered. In her position. I'm shaking. <laughs> eh, what's going on, sis? I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Good Just, to see you. Yes. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. Tina? Ah, yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hi. I'm far away from you. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I the still first love time. you. Yeah. It's okay. Mm. I know the love is deep, so mm. we'll take it like that. Yeah. Ladies, good to see you. Thanks it's for coming good to again. See you too. Let's go right into action, shall we? And I'll start off with this message here, which reads Hi, ladies. Good evening. I have a question. Is it wrong to have condoms on you all the time? I mistakenly ejaculated into someone some time ago and I had to go drive around like 11 p.m. searching for emergency contraceptives. Since that day, I said to myself never to repeat that again. So I always have condoms in my wallet, but my current girlfriend has a problem with it. She's saying it means I'm always ready for sex anytime, anywhere. It could be with her or maybe with any other lady. We've argued about it several times and I don't want to have unprotected sex. I'm so confused, don't know what to do. What do you ladies advise? Hmm. Ah. I, I think um, it's actually very good to carry um, contraceptives around and that's um, a, a condom, right? Um, if you don't even have it on you, you could immediately go and buy it if your girlfriend thinks that you're mm. going to use it for someone else. If it's not on you, you could just go to a shop and go and get it. Mm. So it's up to her to actually trust you, okay? Um, you've done, you've explained to her why, you know, you have it on, on you, I, I guess. Yeah. I'm hoping. Well, yeah, she, he probably has. I'm hoping you've explained to her that in the past maybe you had some some experience like that, and so you are taking measures not to do something like that with her. And maybe with her, you you guys can't keep your hands off each other, so you you never know when, and you don't want to rush and go and get it. So you, she needs to trust you. So I think um, 
I, I don't think it's bad to keep condoms mm. with you. Mm. Actually, it's a very good thing. Mm. Mm. Okay, Olivia, what do you think? I mean, if a guy would cheat on you, he'll cheat on you. <laughs> Whether not. you're there or you're not, condom or no condom. I mean, there are guys who just want to stick it in anything, you know, like a bat or a cell, they fuck, baby. <laughs> so, really, the fact that he has a condom, really, I think it's just trust issues that mm. she has. She's probably coming from a relationship whereby, you know, she's, you know, maybe had broken. She's got trust issues. So, it's just up to you to assure her and reassure her, said Charlie. I'm, I'm in for real. I'm the real deal. I'm not going to cheat on you. And, I mean, for your own safety, I think it's you being responsible, really. Carrying a condom shows that you're responsible. One, you don't want any unwanted pregnancies. Two, you don't want any STDs. Three, like, you're a responsible mm. guy. Like, it's cool to carry a condom, if you ask me. So, Charlie, she should chill. Vim. Rosie. Not carrying a condom is not a padlock around is this thing. Thank you. Ah. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So now, like, like Olivia said, I mean, it's also good for you because what it means is that I'm assuming that he also uses a condom with him. Mm. It means that you, you are not contracting any diseases just in case your suspicion about him being promiscuous is right. Mm. And, now, and you know, this thing about taking morning after pills on the woman's body consistently is actually very bad for you. Mm -hmm. So it's good that he carries condoms and prevents that kind of unwanted situations mm -hmm. where you have to go for emergency pills almost every month. If that's what I'm thinking. And look, look on the bright side. If he has so many condoms on him, in fact, can you keep tap of the condoms? Mm -hmm. And then ask them when they reduce your ass. <laughs> when did this one go? <laughs> you know, so, and that's just on the lighter side. But I think that it's, it's no big deal. Yeah. I mean, even me as a woman, because I said in secondary school, I was a peer promote, um, a Gunsa, Peer promoter. I used to carry condoms around mm. because it felt like students would find it easier to come and come ask a peer you. for yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, and because of that, at some point in time, I actually went around shopping for a variety of condoms. I go to shops, buy a variety of condoms just because I like the variety to have on me. You, mm. you may never know. It didn't mean that I was using them. You understand? So, I think that Flavored. there's nothing wrong. Flavored, yeah. started, ripped, whatever. Yeah. Maintained. Maintained. I could even <laughs> ask people that actually when you travel, get me different varieties. Because I just wanted to have the different varieties. Like, I can say, okay, I have different varieties of condoms. It's like, it's like a collection of. <laughs> and it was, it like, yeah, it yeah. was cool. You understand? So mm. I think there's nothing wrong with carrying yeah, condoms. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. You just need to let the girl understand, you know, really what the reason why you did that. If you told her already and she's being long, Charlie. <laughs> Let mm. her take a stand. Because at the end of the day, I think it's in your own interest. Nowadays, mm. sicknesses are plenty. Or maybe so she wants can't. to trap you crying. You oh. Yeah, or maybe yeah. she wants to trap you, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we'll move on. Eddie in Osu has a message for us this, uh, well, on the show today. It says, I've been with this lady for about seven months. She's in law school and I own a business. The issue cropping up lately is whenever she comes to my place, she complains that there's nothing to do for her. As in, for her to do, mm. you understand, uh, i.e. washing, cleaning, etc. I tell her I'm cool with it. I asked her what her problem is and she says her big sister and aunt say maybe I'm just using her or maybe someone else is doing it for me. I was shocked. Even when my mom comes to visit, to town to visit, I don't let her go to the kitchen or touch my stuff. Even when I use the washing machine, I just have to use my hands again to wash to be sure they're clean. Frankly, if she bothers me with this pettiness for long, I will end it. Mm. That's interesting. <laughs> He's answered this with himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe he just wants so confirmation. The girl is worried, thing is, he, has, to do he probably has OCD. Yeah. Most likely. Mm. You yeah. see, and um, he likes to do his things in a, a particular way. way. And if it's if he's not there to see the end of of, of a certain a, a certain thing, he can't stand it, and that's the way he is. So it's either she 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 actually understands who she who he is and and accommodates him, or he he has already threatened, so he knows he's clear in his mind what he wants to do. I think that these are two different kinds of people coming together. Mm. For her to be able to wash and clean and cook for your prospective husband shows that you're actually taking care of him. You're also showing your love by doing that. So now that you go to the house and there's nothing to do, you feel like there's no opportunity to show how much you care, you know, for the man that you're dating. And he's also on the other end. He's like, look, I can clean myself. I can do my own cooking. 
I can do my own washing. I even have a washing machine that I don't even trust. I even do it myself. <laughs> so really, don't do anything. Let's just come and chill, enjoy ourselves. So I think they are just on two opposite sides of the coin. It's two things. The girl has to come to terms with the fact that, look, maybe when you finally get married or you finally settle in one house or you probably play living, you'd have the opportunity to clean. But why should he keep dirt in the house waiting for you to come from home to come and clean? It doesn't make yeah. sense. If he can do it on his own, he'll do it. And you should be thankful you have a neat man. People are struggling with men who can't clean, and it's not a joke. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the sisters have said it all. Um, you see, when you, when you find yourself in a relationship like that, look at the brighter side, really. I mean, I'm talking from the woman's perspective. Um, uh, he wants to do everything. Yes, there's a negative side to it, whereby, you know, you feel incomplete and all of that. And But really, it's his house, it's his home, and it's not your place for mm -hmm. now. You're just boyfriend, girlfriend. What are you doing busy worrying about what you eat, what you want to clean, 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 be wife? You want to be wife right now? When you get married, what do you be? <laughs> ah. ah. <laughs> no, I'm just but saying. It's true. Some, some, you but know, it's true. you worry it's yourself true. over nothing. <laughs> it's true. You know, and, and plus, plus you're you now. to be wife. No, <laughs> that's your problem. So why play wife it's before the actual. Once the thing is going steady, it's yes. getting Why play wife before you become wife? You do it, that. You do get that. your wife. <laughs> so, this one for me for the lady is unnecessary wahala to be thinking about to be with mm. and and just enjoy getting to know the guy over a while you get to know that oh this is how he is and now you appreciate him more mm. and uh, what you could do is actually make him win him over and say oh i know you really want to do this but can i can i help you by the time you even realize by the time you even go and do whatever it is that you ask to help you go back and clean them again yeah. yeah and over a, a period of time once you live together you get to appreciate that uh, son or tear it's like me and hubby after a long period of time of having the seat up and i used to get so upset or oh, when he pees he leaves the seat up I'm like now i find it so normal because after a while what's the argument Actually, about you you even lift it up for him yeah. <laughs> you know, you, 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 it gets a point in time in a relationship where you just accept people for who they are and move on and enjoy what you have rather than brood over. So there's time and se season for everything. Mm. So just chill and just be really, if you ask me. Right. There, there, there's, a, there's a chance that she might not learn in this process. Mm. So please pay attention to the learning process. Get to know how he does things. But because, the man is sending a message you. Yes. It, well, so yeah. if there's anybody going through such a such yeah. a thing, maybe you you would want to pay attention and learn because when when you even move to a house that is not for the man and the two of you are there and you you are going to take care of the home you have to do it in a particular way that he will not come and touch again where you will be offended you understand so if if the thing is not done in a particular way he will still touch it and you will get offended hmm. so this is the time where you you know that okay when he's doing his egg he wants it well done once it's done he doesn't want the crumbs in the in the frying pan once he's done he will clean it immediately after that he will wash his hand before he puts it in a plate and puts it in a serving tray <laughs> please please people yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 so That's please really learn ground. just just learn right now from from and a yeah. guy too he should be patient you see yeah. this is you should you should you should, even though it bothers because if you have ocd and somebody wants to do this, but it's very upset, it's very annoying because mm. you want they your things, it you, you yeah, you want it yeah. to be done. But just be patient and also translate it to mean that the girl is actually eager to do to something for you. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's just that she doesn't understand how you also think. Right. So it's not reason for you to say, I'm leaving here or blah, 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 blah. But I think that what you should do is that maybe once in a while, leave something small for her to come and do. And if she doesn't do it right, she's like, this is how I want my things to be done. So there's also a learning process that she can start appreciating how you want her to do your things for you for the future. So Yeah, you said it all, ladies. Only thing I'll say is that I need such a man in my I know, life. right? <laughs> you know, that doesn't expect you to do all those things. Yeah. There's some men who, yeah. if you don't do, like, it's a big deal. A big yeah. They actually won't even take the relationship further mm. if, say, you, you come cook. to their house and mm. you don't wash their clothes for them. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's true. So, mm. That's true. Mm, this is nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So uh, message here says, good evening, ladies. I'm Nana. I've been going out with my guy for almost three years and we were okay. But unfortunately for me, I was diagnosed with stage four cancer. Mm -hmm. 
Now, my guy doesn't seem to care and I don't know what to do. The relationship is hanging, yet I really love him. Please advise. Oh, wow. He's scared. Yeah, he's scared. He's scared. He's scared. Mm. A lot of people don't know how to deal with grief. Um, they don't know how to deal with sudden, like, huge... Uh, yeah. He, he, the thing is, a lot of people live their life thinking that it's, it's a normal thing to wake up. It's a normal thing to run through the day. It's a normal thing that you haven't had an accident. It's, everything is normal. So when they get a sudden bad break or bad news they don't know the first thing to do and have maybe i don't know if you have friends or mm -hmm. friends who have gone through um very bad situations and you don't even know what to say to them like immediately you don't know whether to call to send a text mm -hmm. to yeah. whether even when i i think one of the days i was upset on the on on set I'm sure, like, you didn't know... I wanted to send a message to you. Uh -huh. I didn't know whether to send, to it, send or it or not. Mm. And you weren't sure whether you should talk <laughs> yeah. to me or rub my hands or... It's very difficult. People just don't know how to relate. So please don't think that maybe he just doesn't know how to relate to you. He doesn't know what to say. So he's, mm. he's doing everything but talking to you. He's doing everything but not um, relating or connecting to you to let you know that he is very sorry about your situation, but he just can't deal. Stage four cancer is like that's it. Condemned yeah, situation. Yeah. Yes. So for for him, okay, if somebody is condemned, what what do I do? Should I say, don't worry, you die yeah. soon? Or don't worry. Hmm. Like it is yeah. a big deal. A really big deal. So maybe. I, I think from your side, you are going through it and you should reassure him that it's okay. You know, you should tell him that, listen, things happen like this. I have accepted my situation, but I will need you to be, just hold my hand through the process. Mm -hmm. Love me. Um, you don't have to, like, I'm a normal person. I'm still a normal person. Maybe I, I just can't do A, B, C, D. But then, you know, hold my hand through the process. Even if you don't want the relationship anymore, which I don't know whether you understand, but uh, maybe we can be friends. Maybe don't ignore me. Maybe text me sometimes. Maybe, like, you know, tell him <sighs> what you mm -hmm. want because it's, actually very heavy yeah to uh, to, I, to, yeah. to add to what tina said sometimes for guys who are experiencing something like this sometimes for us women well i'm not saying for all women your presence is all we need mm. support you know yeah. it's not about having a long conversation or just be there you know sit by the sick by me at my sick bed like just be there and that's all she needs at that moment, rather than just, you know, that's all I have to say. Yeah. Just be there. Spot on. And I, and I think that for the man, you know, he also started his thinking, I'm dating a very beautiful girl, very nice girl, three years. He's planned mm. his whole life ahead of him. How they're going to get married, have wonderful kids, grow all together. So this news is, ups is just upset his whole plan big time. So he's in shock. And... He knows that, okay, even if I continue the relationship, we probably won't live in, like, she'll probably not live long enough for us to get married. She, we probably would never have children. And even if we do, she's probably going to leave me with babies to take care of. So she's, he's also going through a cycle where he knows that he can't have a relationship. But the thing is, that the, the sad bit is that when you are the one who is sick, mm -hmm. sometimes you find it difficult to even ask your significant other to do what you're expecting to do for you. Mm. Because you also have your own psychological issues you are dealing with. You are the one facing death in the face. So you have your own battles you are battling in their mind. So it becomes very difficult. But what I'll tell her is that, look, what the guy should have done for her was to be by her side, Olivia said. Just be there. When you call him, he should pick. He should probably make you happy. He should mm. never mention, oh my God, this cancer, how is it going? Always, you know, do things that will make her laugh, you know, Kind of like breeze through the whole process, not something to remind her of how 
terrible her situation is and all that. But I think that it's not everybody who has the heart to take it's people true. through that yeah. process. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate that what you need now is the one that you love so much to take you through that process. But if he is not taking you through that process, you're sufficient for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So every day, at least, instead of going like he's no more there for you, look at the past three years, the fantastic times you've had together. Let those times strengthen you to take you through. And I'm sure that at some point, he's going to wake up and be the support that you need. Mm -hmm. um, I'll also say that um, if maybe you do all these things that my sisters have said and, you know, he's still not coming around, you may want to instead reach out to family, you know, mm -hmm. or if you have some best friend somewhere or you know just other people who can understand and empathize with your situation it it, it, it helps and you know on a journey like that you always need people mm -hmm. yep you really yeah. really need people yeah. so I, I I'm so sorry about your situation and um, I hope that you know you're able to at least go through this journey with as little pain as possible thanks for messaging the show um, we're gonna go for a commercial break We'll go for a commercial break. When we return, we'll deal with a lot more of your messages. But remember, our WhatsApp number is 054-998-6996. Or you can send a quick email to jessica at cityfmonline.com. Welcome back. It's Sister Sister on City TV and 97.3 City FM. Don't forget, you can go to your Google Play Store or your Apple Store and download the City Newsroom app. You'll be able to listen to the show from wherever you are in the world. Plus, get, of course, up to the minute updates on all the, you know, running stories both in Ghana and abroad. Um, that being said, remember your comments are also welcome to 054-998-6996. There's a message from Frank, who's messaging us from Tema. Now he says, I've been dating a lady for about four years without having been to see her family. However, she's met mine. When I asked her to introduce me to her family, she said she can't because her mom will say I'm a taxi driver. Please, I need your advice. Ah, ah. <laughs> so if she's but, not, she's, but she's been with the taxi driver for, for four, four years, years. Yeah. conveniently but if she, I don't know my thing is if she's not excited to introduce you today and now mm. when is she going to it's been four years really <laughs> uh, you, you know the rest now because uh, you know um, <laughs> this whole thing I mean you're confident you're the guy you, you, you want to show her off you've shown her that respect you've taken her to your family so at least they know you so, really, you want to look at the dynamics. Like, really, what are you good for her for? <clears throat> like, mm. you're not... Like, she doesn't... She, she won't show you off. Do you even know her friends? Maybe you know her friends, but you don't know her friends' friends' friends. The real you ones. Know, uh -huh, you don't know them. Because it's about swag. It's about, you know, probably for her. It's about status. It's about swag. It's about this. It's about that. And you just don't cut it. But for now, you seem to be financing her, like, her credit, her, her panties, free her rise, free rides. Uh -huh. I mean, all of that. You're, you're a package. But when it comes to marriage materials, that she doesn't want her children to go and write and say, my father is a taxi driver. Maybe she doesn't want that. You don't know. But, you see, it's not about you. For the guy, I don't want you to feel that it's about you. You've done what you have to do to honor her because you are in a. You, you feel that you have found a woman and it's it, it, that is her, but she, she's not on that level. So moving forward, um, have that one last conversation with her. Ask her why she doesn't want you to meet her family. Maybe there's another reason. Well, she, she said because you're a taxi driver. So clearly, she's told you why, and. Does that mean that she wants to marry you? Does that mean that, you know, let her know what your plans are, that you want more in this relationship and let, let her know where you are at so that you know what you can do. Because based on what you ask in terms of wanting to marry her, based on her response, then you know what to do. But for now, dear Charlie, you're a financier. Hmm. Anyway, I, I don't know about being a financier, but I, I just think that focuses are different okay so the the guy clearly i don't know what the, the the lady does okay so 
I cannot say, but I, maybe they are on different pedestals. Maybe one, one is higher on the social ladder than the other. And um, clearly, the girl has told you social status or your working status means a lot more to her than, you know, any other thing. Because that's, that's her concern. Now, if you don't plan on moving out of that situation, you are going to be a taxi driver for all time. That's your major work. Then you are not going to change. So she should make a decision. Hmm. It's not like it's just a stepping stone for you to graduate to something else. Being a taxi driver is no problem. It is a job. You are actually taking care of yourself. You're, you're probably taking care. You're not stealing. It's, it's an honorable job as well. So if the, the job is the problem, the job description is the problem for her, then you need to have the conversation that, listen, I'm not moving from these, these waters. This is where I'm going to play the rest of my life. Are you coming with me or not? But if it's just a stepping stone to other things, then maybe you can assure her that, okay, in the next year, I'll not be a taxi driver. I'll be a banker. <laughs> so maybe when I'm a banker, then you take me home. Mm, but you see, mm, you've, been, mm. you've been four years. If a, woman, if a woman is not proud of you uh, after four years mm. of dating, I don't know when else I she'll agree. be she'll be proud of you so you need to advise yourself you see we ladies eh, when you meet a guy you check ah no, when you're fair. oh he doesn't mm. do he doesn't do but you see as soon as you live with him for like a month two months and you start seeing his real value mm. enough for you to be with him for a long time you as a very person who justifies why his you big are, nose yeah. his job his, his, his pimple face, everything. You're the one who begins to justify him to your friends and your family. So if after four years, he cannot justify your value to her family, such that, yes, he would tell his family, her family people that, look, he's a taxi driver, but look, even, even as a taxi driver, this he is how much ABCD, he makes, yeah. this is how much he takes care of me, this is how much he does this, or he's such a, you know, all the qualities that you want in a man. If the lady cannot justify you, after four years to her friends and family. My thing is that it's an insult to you. Mm -hmm. After four years, come and tell you that because you're a taxi driver, I can't take you home. As far as I'm concerned, no conversation is needed. Mm -hmm. If I were the man, no con look, You see, if the relationship was fresh, two months, three months, I would have said, oh, have that conversation, reassure her, they're going to be better. Why should I change my whole life just because I want an introduction? Hmm. Hmm. Really, I wouldn't even, for me, this one is not up for conversation. Mm. There's no communication I would want to do. For me, it's a direct insult to me to tell me that, look, you're a taxi driver, so I can't take you home. There was a guy who told me one day, when I was in level 300 on campus, and when I was in level 300, I was then, I was doing work at um, Radio Universe. I was meeting, like, I was already, you know, all over the place. And can you imagine? This guy told me that in future, he'll be wearing a suit and a tie. Mm -hmm. And he can't picture me as a suitable companion for somebody who wears a suit and a tie. Please, 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 please. Savage. Please, and please. Now, after, where is he? Where is he? Where is he right hold now? On. After that statement <laughs> was made, trust me, there's nothing in this life True. That, that would make, make me... You... Mm. We didn't, there was no conversation. As soon as he told me, I said, oh, is that so? Mm. So because of that, he can't introduce me to his mother mm. because... He doesn't see me as somebody who compliments somebody who wears a suit and a tie. This is wow. me in tertiary institution, level 300. Hey, like wow. I'll die. Wow. So at the end of the <laughs> day... That's not where you work now. That's not where you are uh, now. Soon okay, after wait, work, wait, soon wait, after wait, work uh, I was wearing a suit and a tie. Wait, 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 wait. So, wait, where's the guy? Oh, oh, where's the guy? Oh, oh, where's the guy? Oh, please, please, please. What is he doing now? Hey, is he uh, wearing a suit and tie? Oh, it's not the best. So the thing is that now we have moved on. The thing is that 
for me, that statement he made, even mm. if it w he was just trying to say something to piss me off, mm. for me, is the highest form of disrespect mm. yeah. as far as I'm concerned. And beyond that, there was never any talk of like, oh, oh why? No, I just, all I told him was that, look, if ever you ever change your mind and you think that you want me again, keep it to yourself. Don't tell me. Because mm. the day you wow. tell me, you will merit a slap. Chai. Unfortunately, Ooh. he came and he said it, but the slap didn't... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just looked at him and I said, "Oh, we are joking, right?" And I moved on. Yeah. You know, you understand what I'm trying to say. The thing is that any time somebody tells you something like this in the face, mm. for me, I think it's the highest form of disrespect. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Four years, and you he can't uh. justify it to the family. I beg. Yeah. Me, if if I were you, I was like, "Oh, okay. Oh, all right. That's it." Just walk out of her life. Finish. Stop the I don't free even think trips, you even have ride. to give it. I don't even think you have to even give her the dignity of a breakup. Oh, yeah. Just walk out because she's. No. Yeah. You see, but you see, I'm Rosie, that's sense. the thing. <laughs> Rosie, you know, you see, you know yourself. So you, you know yourself and you know who you are. And you, you didn't, you didn't need him to compliment you. So if that's how he felt about you, then you didn't care. So that's what is, that's, that's a good thing for, for you to know who you are and for you to know your worth such that Obi Ba onto me fan and kwasi assemble deal because you, he, well, you know what you know you're worth. What you're worth. So by the time he was ready and he came to his reality, uh, his senses, no, so we're trying to take his mama. Of course, well, the tickets in Crown Point, which I said, you know. So uh, I yeah. think that I think that we should just. Hmm. I mean, you yeah. see, everybody wants to be in a relationship. Everybody wants to love and be loved, and nobody, like I keep saying, nobody ever wants to increase their tally. Hmm. You don't want to go around saying that I've dated this person. Assume me, see, assume me, see, assume me, see. But you see, when you're in a bad one, nothing stops you from increasing your tally. You are better off increasing your tally mm, yeah. and finding something that makes you happy mm. than saying that I want one. Now what to home? Now what to home? Or no, maybe she's but... also so beautiful. So you, you yourself, can you feel like, maybe unless of course you yourself, nah, you don't feel okay as a taxi driver. Yeah. So you think that girl now do more by dating you. You think that the girl has added value to your yeah, life by you dating you. Problem. So you, are, you, 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 exactly. you, 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 you don't want to let her go. I'm even stammering. Oh my God. You, you, you don't want to let her go. <laughs> yes, I, like, you don't want to let her go. But you see, no work. In fact, you see, <laughs> certain jobs hey. eh, are more of a job than other jobs. Look, bank job, eh, listen, the day that you are out of the bank, you realize how broke you are. Mm. <laughs> mm. The day you are out of the bank, that's the day you realize how broke you are. That's the day you realize that even the car you're driving is not yours. It's not yours. <laughs> the house you're staying in may not be yours. Mm. And you probably have loans, long list of loans that you unpaid. So at the end of the day, certain jobs look fancy on the outside, mm -hmm. they're but they may, sure. they may not be all that. Yeah. You understand? So if somebody has a job, he can drive. Look, he will never be out of a job. It yeah, means that yeah. even when he gets a better job and for some reason he loses the job, he can always get a taxi and drive himself around and then make Uber. money out of that. Uber, yeah, yeah. And go by himself. Yeah. So there are so many opportunities. So I think that, look... Hmm. This girl, if this girl cannot introduce you to her friends and her family Channel, as so my yeah. man that I love, that I look up to, mm. that I really want to settle with after four years. <laughs> Forget it. 48 <laughs> Forget months. It. Charlie. You know, you know the thing that sort of baffles me with this whole thing? Mm -hmm. Let me read this. It says, when I asked her to introduce me to her family, she said, I can't because her mother will say I'm a <laughs> taxi <laughs> driver. <laughs> me, my question would have been, what will you say? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It seems as if she put the blame at the doorstep of yeah. her mother, but we all know that she's actually the one who has a problem. That thing is an old trick. Yeah, mm. she's the one who actually has a problem. My mother like you. My, my guy, is... Frank, Frank, mm. are you listening? Eh. This girl doesn't deserve you. She doesn't deserve you. Find a woman who would actually love you for who you mm. are and what you do. Mm. And be proud. Eh? And be proud of you to show you off to everyone. This girl does not deserve your time, attention, or love. Even unemployed can I, can cry I, get can, I, can I just can I just play the devil's advocate here okay, right now? Play the devil's advocate. How about he actually said to the girl that listen, this is a temporary thing I'm doing. I'm just going to stop it very soon and move on to something okay. else. And four years, I'm coming, and on. four years on, so he is she still he still exactly. and so maybe she she, she is just hoping upon hope that oh, he will leave that. or he will move. Nobody I'm controls. Just, I'm just saying destiny. that it's a Tina. possibility I get it. that he is still lurking in that which uh, is fine uh -huh. because nobody controls nobody knows tomorrow. tomorrow maybe he had big plans maybe in a he, year's time i wasn't going to be doing this job. maybe Four she's years thinking later, that maybe so leave him mm, end okay. of story why would you waste this time and say you can't maybe introduce him to somebody who is not I a mean, goal getter 
if you oh, feel that he's uh, not somebody who improves himself, leave him. Then leave uh, him. Yeah. yeah. And it, it shouldn't take you four years to leave him. After, for me, I think that a maximum of two years. Two years, quite dull. No, no as I said, maximum. A mm. maximum of two years should at least make you know, settled in your mind, whether you want to be Somebody with that person or not. not. Mm. So if you've dated me, for me personally, after six mm. months, I would know whether I want to be with you or not. Exactly. Mm. But yeah. yes, yeah. after six months, it's like a uh, feeling. Yeah. If my gut feeling tells, because it doesn't mean that I have checked all the boxes. Mm. It doesn't mean that you're the perfect person, but something about me makes me feel like I really want to spend time with you, want to. But if after six months, that feeling is not there, True. I will start making, look, yeah. I'm with you, sister. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. Uh, I'm with you. 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 i am with you 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 it says, because I'm a very, very busy person. I believe a career woman will also be so occupied with her job. I need advice on this issue. Enoch, HND in civil engineering. Wow. And he's messaging us from Kumase. Wow. Yeah. So do you want a career woman or a normal, normal woman? woman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Normal, so normal, normal to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I know what he means. I think what he somebody who is not too busy, who has enough time, then all that. Some. But you know, sometimes career women, like when they get pregnant in their jobs and stuff like that, they <clears> they actually take time off. Yeah. They stay at home, da 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 da, for a while, like and I'm then move it. back. Oh yeah, Rosina mm. is currently at example. home. Yeah. She's a career woman, but then it ha it doesn't stop her from taking care of her home. So um. I don't think, I think love should be your basis. I think um, attraction and the fact that you want to be with someone should be your basis. Not career woman or normal, normal woman. <laughs> because anything can happen. Something can happen at your job where you have to stay at home. And when you're staying at home, you need somebody who, who actually Still says, I'm something. moving to go and get us money and it could be a career woman or it could be a normal woman who is veering into career womanship so please <laughs> i beg you I, your basis of of association with someone or your basis of a relationship with someone shouldn't be on their career or or whatever you you should have an interest you should love them and then take it from there take the boxes as you go in my perspective I'm curious to know what his childhood was like. Mm. The reason why I'm asking is because I feel like he knows the answer because he's like, he, he knows how busy he's going to be. So he's asking us, unless I'm wrong, he's asking us whether he should go for a career woman or a normal woman because indirectly he's thinking about somebody who's going to keep his home for him. Mm. Right. So for him as a man, what, what is of, priority to him is it having a housewife who is going to be at home 24 7 to take care of your kids because for you that's like top on your priority list mm. than to have a career woman who is very busy and who doesn't have time for your kids so depending on where you're coming from and what you want that that's 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 going to help you take this decision but like tina said it's the 21st century you know, um, now women hardly ever stay home. Everybody is a go-getter. And because of tomorrow, nobody knows tomorrow. So it's, it's much more admirable if you ask me. I mean, there, there are women who just want to stay home 24-7 and to be taken care mm. of. I mean, if you find a woman like that who is happy to do that for you, by all means, enjoy your life, enjoy your marriage. But if you find a woman, if you're pursuing love and you end up finding a woman who is a career woman, I think you should just encourage her. And both of you it's you, you shouldn't go into the relationship thinking that it's the woman who is supposed to be f taking care of the kids it's a two-way thing if you're there you help with the kids if she's there she helps with the kids and it's life deal with it and pick up the pieces one day at a time don't make assumptions in a bubble and expect things to be the way you find love you deal with the situation together and and you make life less complicated mm. if you ask me Okay, I would say that 
it will depend on you, the kind of person you are, and what you expect of your woman. That will determine whether you want a career woman or a normal woman. Because, you see, a career woman, like everybody is saying, may not have time, quote-unquote, for the home. But it doesn't mean she may not have oversight. If you're the kind of man who gets home and wants to eat your food hot from the stove, there are men who say that I don't like food that has been microwave. Yes. microwave. So they want the food, <laughs> she, 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 or I'm coming home, then it's hurrying on the stove, then you come to meet it. If that's the kind of person you are, and that means a lot to you, definitely you can't marry a career woman. Mm -hmm. But if you are someone who can compromise on what to eat, what not to eat, you can marry a career. Because the fact that somebody is a career woman doesn't necessarily mean that she doesn't know how to maintain a home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of career women sure. who may not even be present, but they make sure that the mm -hmm. home is Just maintained, exactly. that things get done. So then your argument about career or normal woman is defeatist. You can also have somebody who is a normal woman and still mm -hmm. neglect things in the home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, the woman is home, but the children are running all over the place. You can't even keep up with them. So it's not, it's not, um, the fact that someone is a career woman doesn't mean that she can't be a normal woman. Mm -hmm. And the fact that someone is a normal woman doesn't mean, mean that, that she has be. complete control and oversight over everything that happens in the home. So like everybody is saying, ask yourself a few questions. Do you mind if you get home at, let's say, 8 o'clock and your wife is still not back, it's 10 o'clock? Is it a deal breaker for you? If this is a deal breaker for you, then don't worry yourself with a career woman. But if you are worried about whether your home can still go on, it will still go on. Mm. I mean, 21st century, like we said, there have been people who are taking children as young mm. as four months mm. in their crushes. And they are good crushes. Your children are going to be very well taken care of. So mm. it's not really a big deal for me. Yeah. But I can understand where he's coming from. But ask yourself a few questions. Know what your deal, your, what, what, what is a deal breaker for you and what isn't. And then advise yourself. Right. We, can, we cannot tell you that. Right, so Idris and Tamale, career women are also normal women. That's yeah. all I want to say, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but yeah, certainly the onus lies on you to weigh both options and see which one suits you best. So we wish you the best of luck in that one. It's Sister Sister on City TV and 97.3 City FM. My name is Jessica. We'll go for a quick break. When we return, more of your messages. <laughs> analysis, projections, and policies that affect your business. Curated and delivered in a simple and timely format. Watch Business Dashboard, your most comprehensive source of business news, every weekday at 7 p.m. Only on City TV. Business Dashboard on City TV is sponsored by ADB Bank. Truly a Greek and more. Welcome back, sister, sister on CCTV. Right, so a message here says, uh, I was in a relationship with a man whom I love, with a married man whom I loved dearly, and he admires me a lot. But I left him because I wouldn't like anyone to do it to me. Sisters, my problem is I keep on rejecting all other guys that are coming my way because I wonder if they'll be like him sexually, physically, how we interacted with each other because he's a good listener. I'm afraid that they won't treat me the way he does. Please help. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Who wants to go first? Olivia. <laughs> okay. I was going. Okay. I'm happy that you left him because he's not for you, and you need to snap out of it already. He's somebody's. I mean, 
the man ah. too nice or not. You when you were busy saying, ah, did, did you know that you hey. said that? Ah. Oh. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. But you know, Olivia is drastic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. Because right now, technically, mm. the guy has gone back to his wife. He has sitting there brooding and thinking, oh, am I going to get another man who is like? You are not going. I mean, you can't have that same man. You are not. You are not going to get the same penis. You are not going to get the same. You are not going to get the same man because he's only one his fingerprints guy is different it's him go and find yours i'm happy that you've left him good for you but really go and find yours you need to I, i'm not expecting it i'm not expecting it you to get over him overnight if i sit here and expect you to get over him obviously because you had a bond and everything but see there's some there's some fire that you just don't touch i'm just saying but moving on um moving on um <laughs> try and detach try and try and you know psych yourself up out out again or whatever and open yourself up to other options don't don't close in forget that one is a close chapter just say the padlock is like completely locked move on go and find somebody and try and enjoy the person and live your life yeah I'm okay done. see I'll, I'll just i'll just say something little eh? i am um... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Olivia has said the the parts where the, the man is parts. not the drastic part. I'll take so I won't deal with the married issue. I'll deal with the fact that people actually don't heal before they move on. So when when you're dating someone mm -hmm. and you especially when you you leave, not because you actually wanted to. Like, it's not your will. You know that morally, it's not right. It's not because you don't like the person. Mm. It's not because there was something bad that happened. You, you are just moving on because society frowns on it. So you haven't severed the ties between the two of you. So you still very much love him. You still very much um, have him as the ideal person in your life. You need to actually work on yourself and, and cut and cut that tie you see you you haven't healed so please stop disturbing other people's children because yeah. what whilst they come in you have an ideal person in your in mm. the corner of your mind and you haven't stopped it in we didn't go i have to feel this way and um, like if I, I I said this statement, Anka, if the person is called Franka, Anka Frank will immediately smile and give me a. You see, stop stop using him as a standard, a, the yard, the 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 measurement mm. by which you you are dealing with everybody. Deal with everybody as an individual who they are. Accept people for who they are. Love them for who they are. Because, guess what? Other people coming also had women in their lives. And if they were going to judge you by the yardstick of the other mm. women, mm. you probably wouldn't probably make the mark. So please, heal, cut ties, severe them, and then appreciate people for who they are. What I'll add is that, you see, there's something magical about dating a married man. Not that I've dated one before. But you see, they have nothing concrete to offer you. <laughs> i.e. once you're dating a married man there's no talk about when are we going to get married <laughs> he too he won't tell you oh i'm going to marry you on this day the deal is set right from day one i'm married i have a wife i have children you too so you know he knows you know, you're, not, you're not going to bother him with when are we getting married yeah, and there's all no those drama things. there's no drama <laughs> so it's a lot of understanding and guess what the wife is at home stressing him because the wife is in the real world they have bills to pay. They have children to take care of. Mm. They have all kinds of things mm. to do. So the wife is no more as exciting because of all these things that, are, that, that need to be taken care of. And he too is also thinking about how to take care of the home. So he's probably not so exciting to his wife. So you are like a convenient distraction. Mm. Now, he'll do almost anything to make this distraction happy. So he can also have his enjoyment. What does it take? A few days out, a few nights out, if he's very rich, uh, maybe a few tickets to go around the world to see a few places. So you see, there isn't no real commitment there. So it's nice. It's sweet. Anything that you still to enjoy eh, is very nice. It's wonderful. So what I'm trying to tell you is that, look, you will not find anybody that will match up 
to him in terms of how he makes you feel mm -hmm. because he doesn't have to commit to you in the long run but you need somebody who wants to commit with you and because he wants to commit with you and spend the rest of his life with you he's going to want to look for certain things he's going to want to treat you in such a way that you build your life together so he's not going to be taking money and be splashing all over you because yes he has to make a family with you so at the end of the day mm. he is not somebody you should compare to other single men mm. the single men come with their <coughs> wahala mm. the married men come with their wahala for instance one thing that that single man can offer you is to marry you stability um and yeah. give you that stability mm -hmm. to marry you show you up to the whole world as you are mine i'm yours mm. committed to you that particular thing that married man can mm -hmm. never offer you mm. so no matter how much you benchmark them together there's one thing that all single men have over that married man and because you said that you don't want somebody to do it to you when you are married it means that you're actually looking forward to getting married mm. right so if you're looking forward to getting married the people can offer you that is the single man and not the other married man mm. so you should unless you want to be a second or third wife you want to be a second mm -hmm. or third if, wife even if that one, it will be acceptable in his thing. Thing. That's yeah. What I'm so, yes. yeah so yeah. these are the dynamics you see if the man is probably very traditionalist in thinking you probably not mind doing second or third wife but the question is that you two do want to be second wife, third wife. The way you are saying that you don't want anybody to do it to you, it yeah. means that you're not open to that thought right. mm. of being a second and third wife. So go after people or let your mind, tune your mind. Look, as a woman, trust me, if so far as you meet a man who treats you well over time, you begin to love that person, True. appreciate that person. And I bet you give another man the chance, the next six months, seven months, you actually be thankful. And you actually get angry at yourself why you didn't leave early why you spend so much time with the married man why you're now leaving you understand mm. so all i want to say is that your mind should be stronger than it is now look at the real dynamics on the ground put a paper down and write everything the guy can offer you how lasting it is how valuable it is how authentic it is if you meet this single man what could they possibly offer you how valuable is this to you and then put it on paper and advise yourself, mm -hmm. really, and move on. To quickly add to that, I don't know how long ago it's been since you broke up, but clearly this guy is still on your mind. The mm -hmm. married man is still on your mind. Listen, it's okay to be single. It's okay to take some time away from mm -hmm. a relationship and just let your brains chill. Like, there's nothing wrong. Like, after you leave a relationship, like, you're in a hurry. Okay, mm -hmm. so who else can date me or who else? And... You, since you haven't completely gotten over the other one, that's why you keep comparing him to others. So give your time, yourself some time. Relax, get over it, detach, and start another relationship. Don't just jump in. Mm. It's okay to give yourself time. How, how much time, though, is uh, adequate? And, 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 and until until you, you know that you've detached. It's, out of, it's out of it. It's so out of your system. I, I think I've detached, but I really haven't. <laughs> no, so you see, that's, that's why your yeah. mind should work. You know, yeah. you see, like, when you move from one relationship to another, even when you feel that, oh, you are, you are done with mm. the person, mm. you no longer think about the person, Sometimes all it takes is for you to see the person face to face. And then, you, you, you look, so far as you get shocked when you see the person, it means that you're not totally mm -hmm. over, over, over the person. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 So you see, we, we, all, we all go through those processes, but as quickly as that shock hits you, your mind begins to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's a very good reason why I left. Yeah. This was like the guy was mean, you know, it was your decision to leave. And the reason why you decided to leave is a very valid reason. So mm -hmm. always remind yourself of that reason. So that you can move on. Right. So the moving on doesn't have to be drastic. And you can mm. never be sure when you actually yeah. move on. Yeah. There sure. are people who take a lifetime to move on. Some move on as quickly as yes. Rosina does. But <laughs> hey, if yours is not as quickly as mine, yeah. I mean, just take your time and let your mind be doing the work to keep reminding yeah. you why you left, why right. you left, why you left. Yeah. Right, we'll end the show here. But oh. um, I think um, one thing I'll say is that um, there, people are unique. You'll never find another guy like him, like mm. we, we said, you know, at the beginning of this conversation. Um, so just try and find a guy for you. Mm. And trust me, he's out there. He is out there. So keep looking. And we wish you the best of luck. We'll end the show now. Um, thank you very much for your attention and uh, for your contributions, your messages. If you sent us messages that we haven't read out or discussed on the show, don't lose hope. We will in a subsequent episode of Sister, Sister. Um, I've been here with Tina, Olivia, and Rosina. We'll be back on your favorite station same time next week. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.